Hey, this is Asunto0121 of IG Tom, and I'm doing a tutorial on how to run a Minecraft um, server, like on Xbox or any console really, as um, PC ver the PC version doesn't need to be um, handled this way, as the system just handles it for you. For yourself as you can like say it to do that while xbox it's pretty much manual um this is it isn't gonna be really a um it's gonna be more of like it's just gonna be bombarded with and uh with information so there's not gonna be much entertainment but by the end of the video i will be doing a giveaway which um I'll be sorting out at the end of the video, and it's not it's um, a giveaway of a map of my I've made. It's uh, Minewood. We've done a video on that. I'll put a link in the description for that. And um, as like I don't play Xbox anymore, like as much as I used to. Oh, change color scheme to print. Like um, I'll uh, be giving that away to ten people, ten different people. 10 on Facebook and 10 on YouTube and I might give them to certain other people as well and this um, video is going to basically explain how you could run that world for example how like I run the world and how you can do the same this uh, tutorial will explain like this tutorial is just going to explain maybe uh, it's going to be a few parts this part's going to be on um, the general economy and how to like basically keep documentation of everyone that plays on your server and like what they work as because it will be hard like uh, to know how much you have to pay them uh yeah it'll be hard to like uh, you'll have because you'll have to remember how much you have to pay the person and um like what they work as if as if as they may forget as humans do forget so uh, we're going to start off, first is you're going to need Excel, any version, I'm using the uh, starter version as I don't have for the Excel and you can see, and it works the same generally really, and I'm not sure if you can X these, yeah you can, just, right now we're only going to need sheet 1, and we're just going to put it here, because um, the example I'm going to use is game, uh, Xbox, so I'll be using game tags, uh, I don't know what they'd call them on PlayStation, so I'm going to, I guess, like, um, screen names, or I'll just put in screen name, screen name, so, the screen name would go there, and we'll use me, for example, so, we'll use my, um, second account, which is Acer 0121 I should, don't think I gave the intro, sorry, uh, this is Acer 0121 of YG Tom, <laughs> it's a bit late, ain't it? Uh, but yeah, we're gonna just use uh, my screen name, A Center 0121. We're gonna put, we might do Tom as well, so MVGX Rapids. By the way, Tom doesn't play Xbox anymore. And we'll do George's old Xbox name, so if, I, if it lets me. There you go. And if you just double click this, it'll uh, spread it for you. And so we've got screen name with uh, just three examples. Next, you can put in name. So like what what they would, uh, their name for the server could be if you want to give it like that ex extra bit of role play. For example, mine would be Corran, Tom would be Tom's, and George would be George. Because that will be that's the that's our actual names and I think just to make this uh, easy I'm just gonna click one and then put them bold so it's easier to define if um, the next thing which usually what I do is I put work or occupation so that would be their job oh, let's do that let's say I'm an architect because I'm usually the architect of mine. Tom is a redstoner or redstone engineer. And George, let's make him 
a um, receptionist. Because I'd say George is normally a furniture designer, but I think we I don't see him as a furniture designer as much as I used to. He's less. Ah, fuck it, let's make him furniture designer here. No, let's just call him, call him as teacher because he teaches furniture design. Alright, next would be you could you could put here how much they get paid. So let's say weekly pay. So week weekly pay. This could all you could change it to month, daily. You can set it how however long you want it. By the way, I recommend people that do uh, run servers like this are um, um, intermediate users of Minecraft and. You have a world already set up with rules, which I'll probably explain in another video. Right now, I'm uh, going to explain economy and how to keep documentation of players and stuff like that. So let's say, we are back on track. So we're going to do go with weekly pay. Let's say I get paid. Um, oh no, I can't. I'm not going to go into that yet. And then we're going to put in. We'll say weekly. But that's how much they'll get paid, and we're going to sort up uh, a sum. Uh, so the Excel document will call create a, do a calculation for us, which is really useful. And another thing that we could do is we could just, if we just copy and paste this and move this over to one because I just remembered something. Let's just spread this and just do that. And what you could you can set up a number system. So like number, you could do a number, or you can do like a pin system, which is. It can be quite confusing, a pin system. Account pin, we'll call it. Um, no, server pin, server pin. And what this could be used is like to hold their bank account details. And when I say bank account details, I mean the in-game bank account details. Uh, bank account details. So they could use this server pin to open up their account. So like this only really works if the host is the only banker on the world and I recommend the host is the only banker on the world because I just don't think I don't think you can really trust people that just go for the job banker because and a good example for this is Tom if you were to give Tom the banking role he would take money and I'm telling you he would agree with he would agree with me on this that he would even himself would agree that he'd take money if he was given the job and he actually did when we host when I hosted um, a world back in the day, which was the first CEC of Nord. He would be bank and he'd just take money. He'd just take money and because like it, you wouldn't be able to tell if they were taking money or not because you'd have to go through every chest and you'd have to keep documentation of that. And that's what the server pin does. And having the host uh, running the bank system only the host. And these three options, which these two will be described later. The server pin, if so, for example, let's just do it. Could be, um, it could like be an A, B, C, one, two, three format, so like three letters, three numbers, or I'd recommend something below six characters because it's just easier to remember. So we'll go with A, B, C, one, two, three. And basically, you could do if we we'll put a note here later on saying that like. It has to be three letters, three numbers, and in that order. So, E F uh, G, four five six, and H I J, seven eight nine, and that will be that could be the pin system. So, pin would be um three letters, three numbers. I recommend nothing beyond six characters. It's just the easy. Anything above six characters gets really hard to calculate. I mean, really hard to remember. What I would do is I used to run this uh, day of birth pin system where you'd and day of birth and initials pin system where they'd give me their initials. The first initial would be the first, then the day of birth would come after that, and then at the end would be their last initial. Um, I'd for example, a twelve, oh one, nine eight, not eight nine sorry, and B. So, Abigail. Born on the twelfth day of the first month in nineteen eighty nine, Bentley. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep that there. And just actually, no, no, we can't keep that there because, well, we could. No, no, we can't. All right, now work. Uh, weekly pay. 
we've got to set up the economy now, don't we? So if we name this as um, uh, player details, no, no, uh, server member details. So the SMD, and we put this as economy, um, money system. Sorry. This is where we all just basically keep an eye on like how, how uh, what money, how we could describe money. So if we would like, um, you could have money as a physical object, so physical money. Which is physical money, like we could just use, uh, if we put this in a box, it'd be easier for you. Uh, I'll put this in bold first. So let's go with coal. This is uh, an old system I used to uh, run, which is coal, iron, gold, diamond, and as emerald have been added, we'll add emerald. And um, pricing. No, that ain't spell pricing. No, pricing. Um. I'm gonna go with something called MC, which is Minecraftian credit, which is a thingy, uh, which is a currency I use on Minewood, which is known as Minecraftian credit, and is the MC system. You could also use paper. Paper is also useful. Paper. Uh, I'll keep paper there because paper can be used much differently to these. So with coal, for example, it could just be one MC. Iron could be five MC. Gold could be 10 MC, diamond could be 100 MC, or it could just be 50 MC because uh, maybe over 100 is too much. And you could just keep that as how we could work. While paper, you could just um, use anvil. You could just use an anvil to like uh, say to any of these. So like, uh, different papers could be for different currencies. Like. Paper could be one MC, one one sheet of paper could be one M, one MC, and another could be a hundred MC. And you could use the anvil on these as well, which is why I don't do a Minecraft. Um, um, uh, mine would I say like so that uh coal has uh it'll just say one MC or iron will have five MC, but I use paper instead. I think no 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 I sorry I use um the minerals, and you could you could use that uh that's one system that you could use for currency. We'll leave that there. Over here we'll do another one, which is where you don't actually, you could just use a credit card system. You could just use a credit card system. This one, um, I recommend, I think this is the easiest to, um, that's the easiest to forge. This is the easiest to um, get around. I, it's not, I think it's, it's good for beginners. It's not, um, when you get used to it, like you, when you want to, when you get really into the server, you want to maybe change the system so that it's easier to keep people money people's money safe like they may people may have millions or billions of minecrafting credits and you might want to save it for them because if they lose out it's more than likely they're going to leave your server and you don't want that do you well if we just do this another system you could use is the uh, credit card system and it'd just be like you could easily use paper or book and it could, it literally could just be that you only really need those two items. Or you could even use a map. I think a map might be useful because you could use it for two functions. It's quite useful. Um, you could use it to find your play, find your way around the map. And you can also use it to like hold your account detail. Uh, your, to hold either your server pin. You could put, you could put the player's server pin on the actual, um, put, wait, put player pin on the card you could do you could do that you could put the player's pin on like the paper so like if I gave a paper to Tom for example uh, on the paper it could say EFG 456 which but like if it gets lost you've lost it. it if you don't have this document if you don't have a form of documentation like this I recommend using Excel anything else doesn't work I mean word you could try word it won't do the calculation for you, and don't use a notepad. They are useless. I've I've done it before, and it doesn't. 
work. But you could use a credit card. I mean, you could use the um, in an in-game credit card, which just basically has the pin on. So E F G four five six, and I'd give that to Tom. That'd be Tom's, and Tom would give that to the banker, and the banker could just basically find Tom, which would have Tom's um, Tom's chest, and it which would have his pin on, and then the banker would just check. Yep, that's his pin. If it's not his pin, then he can't go in. But if it is his pin, he can take as much mo the right amount of money that Tom wants to take out. Or you could use that, like you could just say on the credit card, it could just be credit. It could just say credit, literally credit card, and this could be easier to mass produce. Just by saying credit card, and the person, person must say pin when at bank. They could send a message, which I think would be it's better for security purposes if they send a message instead of uh, saying yeah lad, because saying lad, of course, maybe if it because when it says a credit card, it won't say who's like pin it is, it'll just say credit card, and someone could just take that pin and then just basically, oh yeah, um, here's my pin, and like let's say George went in and used my pin, oh hello, um, I'd like to take some money, oh what's your pin? A, B, C, one, two, three. They just go down and it say the pin. Yep, that's the right pin. Take the money out of that. I mean, if it doesn't say the player's uh, num a name above the pin, then you can just forge. You can pr you can just um, work around that as well and just take money out of anyone's account if they're stupid enough to say a lad. Which for player security, I'd recommend that you just put a credit card on it and you, that you make them send messages instead of. Um, Oh no! That's something happened. Cancel. It just say it just save um, a server place if you just have their message players. And another bit is, is um, virtual copy, virtual, which would be done on Excel. You do this on Excel. document any changes of money and that like I, I done this before I've done I haven't like used this a lot but I've, I've done this and this I think this works the best what you do is basically it tell you how much they get paid and then say how much they would have got paid all together then here it would say how much money they have on them and if they use more money than they've uh, had on them then you can tell, yep, they've, 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 they've taken money, or they've, like, faked money, or something like that, and that, that way, you just, um, it'd be easier to make transactions, but I think that does make any money-based crimes less effective and pointless for banks in the first place, if that, uh, that is there, and if you want to have, like, crime on your server, this is, yeah, the virtual copy just is pointless. If you're gonna, if you want a lot of crime on your world, physical copies are the best. They're the easiest to use, and server pins are required for that. While credit card systems, you're gonna need the pin. It'll be a bit harder to get money through crime, but I think that's the that's the best bit to go with. If you want to have like, you want crime, but you also want like, um, you want people to like be in control of their money. That's the easiest, and this way you can like. I think the hardest though for this is like working with shopkeepers if you are not a shopkeeper. Th this one works best with shopkeepers. This one works best with banks. And this one works best with banks as well, but like it's it is nearly useless for crime and you'd have to basically find out that every change of documentation. You'd have to basically change the price for two people which get can get annoying. Mm, and anything else? Anything else? Anything else? The next thing, well, that's the that's how the money will work. You can use any of these. Three, these are the three systems I suggest, and I'm gonna fill my color with the the best. I'd say the best is. Probably physical money. Physical money works probably oh. probably the best. I think physical money is the best bet to go with. Credit card, it may get a bit difficult, but it can work. But virtual copies are the 
I think virtual copies are the hardest to work with. And you might want to keep a system open that just tells you about the money system. And I think for this documentation, we'll use just we'll use physical money if it needs to be put down. So here would be weekly pay. Here would be um. I think what we'll put here is no. I'd say we put uh how many weeks uh duration time played, which would be time played. So let's put time played. Weekly, so like, uh, and that basically just tell you how many time, how many, how many weeks they be on, been on the world. So, let's say a week's been up for ten weeks. I, if I was the host, I'd be on for ten weeks. I'd say Tom would have been on more than George, or maybe eight, and George will probably be on five because he doesn't usually play with us a lot compared to how much he used to. But that's that's how long with uh, if a week's been if a world's been up for ten weeks that's just an example, and here'd be weekly pay, weekly pay. We just do that. Let's say I earn a hundred MC. Tom earns ninety MC, and George earns. I'd say, actually no, this is all, let's say we all earn 90 MC just to keep it fair. You could, you could put us, um, you could put space there if you wanted to, I'm not. Actually no, I don't, I don't think, no, 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 don't, don't put the, don't put MC in there, you could just put MC up here. Because, uh, the calculations won't work. And here you'd probably put um, uh, I'd say here you'd pr probably put oh, that's a bit awkward um, total money paid current wallet there. And what that mean? My when I say current wallet, I mean that's how much money the player has on them now. And total money paid is how much money they would have if they saved everything, which I think is useful to see if like they've gone if their current wallet's bigger, then they might have just uh, forged money. And like here, you'd have to do a calculation. So you equal ten, uh, go into cell E2, which if you're using the similar style me, then put a star, which is just above nine on the uh, 3 by 3 number grid and then you do F2 and then that calculate that and you can this is clever you can just drag down and that calculate all those for you and if we just done this if you change that to 11 that changes so we'll put that back into 8 and if we change how much they get paid so maybe 300 bang and this is going to be completely accurate as well you're using as if the calculation is not wrong then that's accurate that's perfectly accurate but here is it's more manual here you could either like check how much they um you could check how much money they have weekly so let's say let's say george didn't spend anything because he doesn't usually spend anything i'll probably maybe have a hundred fifty. i don't spend a lot but Tom spends. Tom would spend on this world, so like he'd have four hundred. And you'd have you could either weekly check how much money they have on have on them, or you just like document every transaction they make. So if they go to a shop, like you you have to if they go to a shop, you have to ask how much how much did he um how much did he ask for, and then take that, and then uh you'd have to ask how much uh would he how much is that product and then like how much is if he if how many he's getting and then you just deduct that from the current wallet and that i think that goes into you could like work that with the bank as well so like they'd have they'd that's how much money they have both in bank and on them but i think you might want to create one separately for the bank but i'm not going to but you can if you want to and those two this one's the only one that needs a calculation so that i think of you might you could put uh one here 
Uh, yeah, you might put one here as well because there's a VLOOK thing, VLOOKUP, which I'll probably explain later when I, if I remember how it works. And yeah, this is going to be a long video. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, and that's that's just general like how, uh, working the currency and how much money a player has on them. A cool bit about this is you could drag this down. I'm curious if this might work with this as well. No, nope, it doesn't. Actually, but it might. It works. I know it works. One, two. If you just drag down, it'll it'll do three automatically. But we'll just go with A, B, one, two. Uh, I've just changed if you C, D, three, four. Just to make it easier. And E, F, five, E, F, five, six. No, nope, four. No, E, F, five, six. <laughs> And that um, that's just general like working. That's how like the bank how you could work the how you could keep an how you could keep an eye on the money and how much money someone has. And I'm just gonna get one of my old one of my folders um, just to see if I've I might have something that will help me. If just for reference, this this might be something. Nope, this doesn't. But you can do rank systems to so like rank this. This could work if you. Um, I'm gonna maybe maybe move this just uh, there, and I don't think that breaks the calculations. I'm just gonna check 100. Nope, that that the calculations are fine. Nope. Oh, I was thought it was broken just then. Nope, I just put 900 in there. What you can do is, if we, we saw that, out, you can put here rank, which could be a similar thing. So like they could, um, you could put a rank system from one to ten. So I could let's say I'm top ten. Tom can be a scrub with three, and George can have eight. If we, I might just put a thingy here saying uh, from one to ten just to reference and you can work this in with the calculations you can put that in brackets I'm not sure I'm not sure if will that work and then we'll put we'll put that there I'm just gonna nope it doesn't it doesn't work uh, well, what we'll do is we'll do this times this times this times this and I'm just gonna get a calculator just to make sure if that's uh, the right way we want it I'm just gonna see if it works alright so oh, I'm a fucking idiot aren't I it does well I'm, I'm just I'm just trying to make sure times 90 but if we just see if it works uh, the next one so 90 Does it? Yep, it does. So that's fine. Well, and we'll just do that here. So how the rank system could work is that that's like a multiplier to how much they earn. So like it's kind of like getting raises or like different rankings within jobs. So like a head architect could be nine, admin could be ten, something like that. And that could uh, that could uh, improve money uh, the economy. In a few good ways, like it could have people earning more, spending more, people getting more money, and money flowing faster, and people uh, with jobs would like to work because they're getting more money to buy things that they like, which is useful, isn't it? And um, I think that's all for the uh, money system. What you can do is a VLOOK thing, VLOOKUP as well, which I'm just trying to remember how to do this. I do this in IT, and I'm, if I'm, I'm just going to get some of my college work up and just see if that can help me, because I'm just getting formula. I'm just getting my USB if you don't mind. <sighs> this, uh, but yeah, this I recommend this if you're running a server um, on X. This is only useful on consoles because PCs just don't need it, do they? 
Oh, G5. G5 doesn't exist, so we'll just X that. Seems that someone's messaged me on Skype. What we'll do is we'll go here. Oh, open folder to be files, work, CAD car, um, IT, IT1, section B, data fruit shop. I'm just trying to remember how the formula works with this. Is this the VLOC? Oh, wait, no, wait. Oh, shit, I can't remember. Um, do that. Bang. Yep. There we go. Alright, yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah. Are we gonna do create another sheet? We're just gonna spread this across here so that I'm gonna call this sheet um jobs list. And as we've only really got the three jobs, architect, redstone, engineer. No, redstone you know, yeah, jobs, so jobs would be there. Make that bold. Uh, what we could do here is uh, pay, and that's all you just need job and pay. So, what we'll do here is I'm just trying. Um, does this? Yeah, this, 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 this has to do this. Has to do. So, I'm sure this, I'm sure this is right. What you're gonna need to do is jobs will be all right. So, architect. Oh. Did I spell that right? Yep. Redstone engineer. And teacher. And let's say, well, I'm just going to change the pay a bit. So 80 and 60. So that's, it's not too bad. And what we'll do is we're gonna you're gonna have to name this so we're gonna name this jobs. And that now whenever you go on that, that says jobs. I think no 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 sorry. Well we'll sort this out. This isn't meant to say jobs, sorry, wrong one. We'll just do that. Only the jobs list, not the titles, just the jobs and the pay side. So column A, column B, not the actual title bit, so we'll call that jobs. Alright. Now, if you go to server document, what we'll do is here. You go to, I think, is it developer tab? Yeah, it's developer tab. It's. I feel like I'm teaching IT right now. I'm not sure if you can get it on this. Hope you can. You go to option. Oh yep, yeah, options. Advanced. Is it here? Oh no, I don't. Nope, I don't think it's but I'll change to that because it's sexy. Oh shit, that actually does look pretty sexy. I I oh, can't do it here, so it's it's okay. Um, what I'll do is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna test it here first. So we're gonna click on the function tab and we're gonna search for v look up go and it will just oh nope. Fine, wanna be racist, that's cool. We'll just search up V and then it'll find it for us. Here it is, V look. Alright, look up value. So what you wanna search up? Nope, I'll look up value, so job. Nope. I'm not sure if it should be saying that, so for see that. Yep, it shouldn't be doing that. Yep. Alright, table array. Okay, they need numbers then, don't they? Nope. We're gonna count. Alright, so what we're gonna do is. We're just gonna move this cup. Bang. Nope. I'm gonna name that as jobs. Nope, that's not jobs, so one. Two, three. I'm going to put number there. I'm going to do that. This is going to be known as jobs. So 
So what we're going to do here is we're going to just do it again. We're going to go to the most recently used VLOOKUP look up array. So you go to jobs, this. So that done. Now what we what we do here is wait if you just find out what the thing was table array. No, oh, it's job list. It's jo yes, job list. Is that? Oh, fuck. How do you do that? All right. Sorry, I'm just trying to remember how to do this. Right. Equals v lookup. Nope. I think that's that's one of the annoying bits about Excel. You've got to double click. All right, lookup value. Now that is. Oh, how do you do this again? Sorry, I'm I'm really sorry. I think it's that. Bang. Nope. What we're gonna do is we're gonna see comma. We're gonna click on that. I think that's it. Comma. Bloody, I'm confusing myself right now. It's horrible. Alright, you click architect, comma. You click on jobs, comma. There's that exclamation mark, so we'll remove that, comma. Go back to that, comma, and then you click column index number, so that. So I think that's everything. Wait. Right, that's everything. No. Oh. Right, oh. Um. Oh shit. <laughs> Sorry about this. I'm, like I'm just forgetting. Like what? Like I can't remember how to do this. It's an invoice, you gotta get, you gotta get this, uh, that. Let's see, two. Let's see, two. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Alright, sorry, sorry. So sorry. Alright, I think I've got it now. So if we just do V lookup. Look up. All right, let's say we'll go with uh, C7. Yes, yeah, C7, comma, jobs. See, you can notice there's a cell there, comma, two. Oh, oh no. Oh. Maybe if I just change the column to three. Nope. Alright, I'll change it to D2. See, that might work. Nope, that does not work. Okay, forget the VLOOKUP thing whatsoever. That You don't need that. that that's not... Forget it. No, no, when, forget that. From now on, all you're going to need is... We just go back to that. Box. You just keep... You just get that box saying the number, the job number, the job name, and the pay. You may want to like uh, where on the map. You can put like where the job is set. You just sort this out. Sorry for wasting your time earlier. I can't believe I just completely forgot to do it. Like what I was trying to do, maybe just doesn't isn't relevant to this then anymore. Alright, then you just click where, and I'm just trying to remember if there's another thing I may forget. And education. That one's a question. Like, it's tricky. Like, maybe do, do you have um, roles where, like, you have to go to school to learn? So, for an example, an architect, you're going to need to go to somewhere that will teach you how to become a builder. 
well, train you how to be a builder and how to get paid. I mean, well, how to build to a certain standard. So let's say, for example, architect firm, firm will put, yeah, firm, redstone, power plant. and teacher uni education yes yes and yes and the reason being is um the reason being is like you know if they're going to be really high paying jobs you don't want people that like haven't gone to college like haven't well ha gone to the university or college or school within the map to get paid so much money for like doing something that they have and like they don't understand what they're doing and like they might not do a substantial job that's what the education shape education system in the world could do so you could do education here um you wouldn't need to um do here um build this class Um, engineer any what this will what educate like this education box will ask if they've so if they've gone to uni call, uh, to the university and they've done if they've gone and studied at least one topic they uh, it'll be placed here and if the job they're looking for is in the right area then they could get that job so they apply before like so if I went to if I studied building builder I could get architect and I'm fine with that let's say George uh, studied um, let's think uh, design just general design so like he could design uh, furniture stuff like that and it, Tom didn't learn Tom didn't get an education he cannot do this and then he is not able to do that but he has he's gone and done his education and it's done and the class in engineering and that's basically the uh, how to work the job education and economy on your server is there anything else that maybe that I can think of I'm just trying to remember if there's anything else the server needs that will be run through Excel sorry about like it's just, it's just all Excel that's all you see really because I haven't one uh, if I I think if I bring up pictures it might just pull away from the general lesson but two like there's nothing I've got pictures that are relevant to it in the first place is there anything well, I'm just trying to remember if there's anything else you could probably do like a price list as well which is which could work for like a catalog or like we'll call it catalog and what this catalog could do it could hold items item name uh, description item type uh, hopefully here item type and price this works if you, every shop runs by a, a specific universal uh, pricing system I'll just put MC there and uh, we're gonna make that bold. So let's go with iron block, sword, and rose. So that's a plant. Uh, sword is a weapon. No, we'll we'll put that under tool. And iron block is block. Or we'll just put it as yeah block, and like what you could have is like a universal um, uh, item type, and then like price range. So like the the price could range between these two. So you don't want to go with something that can be overpriced or something. Else. So like with, let's go for block. Blocks can we could have a range from. 10 to maybe a hundred it might be a bit too it might sound like a lot but like you know diamond blocks that's bloody expensive and then like because like you could see as quite you could see as a really bad thing if like they emerald blocks and they're paying for a hundred and they get 900 they get 900 credits out of that 
I mean, you could say that, like, you don't sell mineral blocks. I recommend not selling mineral blocks because people will probably do that. So I don't recommend selling mineral blocks at all. And if you do have uh, mining jobs... Oh, by the way, that's another thing. I'm going to go under a few more jobs that you could do in this video as well. So it's a long video. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, blocks. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Tools. All right, tools. Now, this can range from maybe you could do uh, 10 to maybe 50. Oh, nope. 10 to maybe 50. Nope. Ten or fifty, I think that or yeah. You just, oh space. Nope. Space, no. Ten fifty. Oh that is racist, that is. That is just racist. I'm just gonna try underscore now. Nope. Oh, underscore works then. And tool underscore plant. And you don't wanna overprice stuff. Because people will bag you for that, and you may see him as a tyrant. You can another thing. I'll like. I'll give a like. I'll make a word document after, right after this, like with ideas of like what you can do in this in like these kind of servers. And so like you knew uh, but back onto the price chain. So it's an iron block. That's I'm gonna put that at a hundred because people can make money out of that. And I'd say if people do that, they're gonna lose money, and that's a good. That's why you, if you do do mineral blocks, you place them at a very high price because you don't want them to gain money. Uh, if they're gonna try and make money out of buying blocks, you don't want them to gain money. You want them to lose money because they're like, oh, this is gonna make me so rich by doing this. No, it's gonna make them lose money, and then they're gonna read, oh shit, I've lost money. Or they could just use their own minerals and use the blocks themselves and for storage purposes. So why buy the blocks in the first place? Don't know. But if you do do that, place them at a very high price. I mean, you could even go to a thousand. I'll put them at a thousand because of that. But if we do five, uh, so let's say five, five, five times ten, that's fifty. Fifty. So if we sold at fifty, that's fine because they'll 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 lose five Minecrafting credits out of that. But just to make sure that they learn a lesson, we'll put we'll bunk it up to maybe seventy five. So they lose a lot of they lose maybe five ten. Um, sorry, I'm I I'm bad at math. Math. I mean, I actually thought someone that was born in the eighties was actually eighty years old, and it was annoying because I was in a class. I was in an IT. I was in my IT class, and the guys are like, "How old is this person?" I'm like. Sir, he's 80. I'm like, and then everyone just like, oh, you fucking idiot. That's that was literally everyone's reaction. It was it was horrible. All right, let's say sword. Uh, let's go with diamond sword. You wanna when you price things, you wanna make sure that like everything's like if you if they're gonna use it for like, certain purposes, then you wanna place it really high. So if it's diamond, diamond 50. So there, that's if it's at it's a price range at 50. That's very cheap. To consider they could they, they they've got they could spend one diamond in the place of two so that you can maybe jack up the price to times three so 150 so if we just set that to maybe 500 just in case because like tools do take up a lot of uh, resources so 150 so that's three times the standard diamond rate and that's that's understandable like you you gotta earn profit from that don't you and if people want to make diamond tools they're gonna realize that like they could either make it themselves but the problem is that's that's another thing if they've got the minerals that they can make it themselves you don't want to make it too expensive too cheap so you want to get in a middle ground so diamonds two diamonds that's that's basically 100 so you could put it at 95 you could but i don't want to put it there because it might be a bit too cheap and same with iron blocks, that's the problem, you can't exactly put it at that exact level, because people can make it themselves, can't they? But like, let's say that they can't, they can't make it, no, let's say they can, so we're going to put this at 90, we're going to put it at a discounted price. And, because that's, an, that's an, you've got to think about it though, don't you? Like, what, if they, they're going to make profit or they're going to lose profit, and then if people, I think this works better with paper, let's say, let's say they're using paper, yeah. 
Well, let's say they're using paper. I'm going to stick to that. So we're going to go back to 150. Let's say they're using paper. All right, now roses. Now here's a funny one. On one to ten, and that's a reason because leaves and foliage you can get around you. They can just get by one bone. They can buy. They can get a bone. Get three bone meal. Do it anywhere, and they've got maybe two, three roses. So you want to keep it really cheap, maybe two. And if you're gonna if you're gonna place bone meal, I recommend bone meal going in the category of plant or misc. I'm placing misc around the range of twenty to a hundred because I think some can be really rare and some can be really abundant. And the abundant ones could just got a ten because they they can be useful. They can like string, booby traps, stick tools. Um. Blaze rod, brewing stand, done. And that's how you could run the um. That's how you, you can just have like a catalog that like tells you the universal pricing of everything, and then the universal pricing of like the category. So if something can't go above this, something can't go below that. And that's how you can just like work. That's how you can work it with this. Like you can oh what are you buying? Then like they could say oh I'm buying this. Then you could just look through this. See, see, let's look through this. Aren't we? Oh, yeah, you want to buy that? Okay, that'll, that's going to be taken off your account. Is that okay with you? Fine. Oh, that's not enough money. So you can't buy that. And then they say, oh, fine, I'm just, I'm going to take it. They take it, and then you could just uh, put them in jail for that because, you know, you're going to have a jail, aren't you? And that's, um, is there anything else? Anything else I can think of? No, I, I think that's about it. We're just going to box this up because, you know, why not? And if we open up a word, because, you know, why not? Oh, it's a bit awkward. A bit small. Let's put it there. Let's use... Yep. I'm just going to make the font a bit bigger. Um, requirements. What are you going to need? When you're using this, when you're using like everything I've, I've just told you in this tutorial, don't save. If you just look at this, you're going to need a bank. Bank. S store money. Take money. And I'm just going to set no spacing. I recommend. I'm gonna put uh, I'll say RC would mean recommend. RC host host uh runs bank because if the host doesn't run the bank and someone else does, they could just take money. And under recommend, I'm just gonna put everything that I recommend for you. Um, ender chest, ender chest ATMs. So you can have these just outside, maybe really important buildings or like big buildings. You can have an NHS ATM, vaults underground, like a really like a giant vaults underground. Because you're gonna you're gonna need big vaults if you're expecting this to be very popular. And you're gonna you're gonna need the vaults underground. Um, what do I recommend? A lot of redstone, redstone uh, locks. Because if you don't have redstone locks, people might get in. And like, uh, you can't use obsidian, but like, you can like obsidian layering. Because if you want to put crime on there, then I then you're gonna you might not want to put bedrock, would you? Slash bedrock layering. So you could have like maybe one bedrock thick walls or one bed one two or three obsidian thick uh walls in between like a quartz wall. Um, then you're gonna need what else are you gonna need? Let's have a look. See, you're gonna need a uh, job house, uh, which is basically where everyone keeps the jobs, don't they? Um, lists jobs. It's, it's just gonna list jobs, ain't it? Nothing, uh, nothing else really. So. IRC big building. And when I say big building, I mean huge. Because it's going to hold every every job. Holds all job information. Such as where, 
how much. I don't recommend how much, but you can do that. And name. And and if it needs education and requirements. Because if it's not, if, it uh, if it's an education job, then it's going to have a requirement, ain't it? Anything else I recommend? Um, a variety, I'd say a variety. A variety of jobs and a world that's got different kind of things. A unique world. That that's something that I must see. Um, like forests, oceans, mountains, mines, shops. Like it's just different stuff, ain't you're gonna need different stuff. And that's why I recommend using like something like World Editor or getting like a, or doing this on a world that isn't super flat because you're not it's not likely that you're gonna be able to make mountains oceans and forests all by yourself and keep people interested in it that's why with world paint you can like create like unique that's why i did it with mine when you create just expansive an expansive world that like is like whoa that's cool and it's got forests it's got beaches it's got it's got like mountains, it has an ocean fucking surrounding the entire island, it's crazy. And um, anything else you're going to need, let's have a look at, look see what anything else you're going to need. You're going to need shops. Shops. Oh, see. Shops, I'm not going to explain. Buy products. Shops by products. RC. I RC. Um, I recommend. Um, what's it called universal pricing. Because it'd be it just be, it'd save a lot of time if everything is at the same price. It, it's gonna save you a lot of hassle. I'm telling you. And the problem is that like when I run worlds, I don't use universal because like no shop sells the same thing, and the shopping prices can vary between different places, which is it can be weird, but it can also be quite cool you might want an information desk an information place sorry so if we just uh information desk information as us um hold information hold info rc place rules here you want you import your rules here uh, way economy works how how businesses work because you can um, you can run businesses if you wanted to pay um, how pay works etc it, it's just like how everything works and the final thing I think is a must if I can remember what it is, there's something I just can't remember what it was. Oh, can't remember. Oh shit. Oh fuck, what is it? Oh god, why? What is it? What does mine not have? I'm not sure if mine not has this as well. I think it does. Oh, I think it does. Oh, it's got to have something. What does it have? It has something. Uh, it has something. What does it have? What does it have? Oh, I can't remember. Uh, you can you can tell this video has my script. It's just me trying to remember, like trying to. I guess this is how a teacher feels when he or she is working, like without no books or PowerPoint or anything. It's it's, it's hard. It's, it's so hard. It's, it seems hard. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna read this and see if I can remember. Place rules. Way. Uh. Oh, wait, economy works have business. Oh, I think I was going to talk about business. Yeah, I think I was going to talk about business. How you could work with businesses. Um, this could work with the economy. Um, business. Let's go down. Companies, so that, 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 that doesn't really help. So if you own a shop and like that, you bought that shop, that's yours. E.g. shop owner. You pay the shopkeeper maybe an allowance. 
him slash her allowance eg 1000 oh no just yeah paying three zeros 1000 m's um Oh, I remember how he's. I what the actual credit uh thing is MCCR. Yeah, that that's how it is. You pay him or her allowance of one thousand Minecrafting credits, but I'm just gonna put MC because that's how I've put it in this document. So you pay him that, and then the the person could spend. He slash she can spend this on stock. On stock employees. And, and uh, um, just ignore that. Uh, stock employees, and um, you can probably like keep a bit for himself. And like uh, this, like this saves you a lot of time of giving people money instead. So you could this system can become obsolete. This 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 bit here can become very uh, become extremely obsolete if you do pay the shopkeeper. But you can also you can also pay them yourself. So you can pay you can give the shopkeeper an allowance, but he has to also pay his employees while you're paying the employees on top. And you could another thing is tax. You can also put a tax on. Um. A tax like how uh, how would you say a payment for facilities for free facilities so you could have a place that sells um, that does uh, that does medication medication no no not medication actually that's not bad uh, that's a bad example um, maybe a, a redstone electricity Cause like you could have redstone running through your world, which mine would mine would does, and this, the way we work, if someone doesn't pay the bill, if someone doesn't pay bill, doesn't pay bill or tax, tax, redstone supplies cut off. And that's how you, you can just do that, it's a simple thing, like if they don't pay the tax of bill for redstone electricity, then their redstone is just cut off, an engineer would probably just go to the house, either break their lever so they can't turn on the electricity whatsoever, or maybe you just put a button there so you'd have to constantly just punch that, and like, why would you, what, what's the point of a button when there was a lever there? And, plus, it's quite late now, and... You know, it's, it's nine and my brothers are coming up, so I'm just gonna end the video here. And I hope I'll, I'll, I'll actually no, wait, wait, I'm just gonna do this. So I hope this video has helped you. So the bank sorts money, takes money. Uh, recommend host, runs bank, ender chest, ATMs, uh, vaults, underground, redstone locks, obsidian slash bed uh, rock layering. I was just about to say, shut the fuck up just then. Uh, job house, um, a job house which hosts, uh, which has uh, jobs and uh, lists them. It's a big building. Hold all jobs such as where uh, the info for the jobs, where, how much, when, requirements, etc. It's like have a variety, a world, like the variety. When I say varieties, I mean like a world that's like got forests, oceans, mountains, mines, shops, different kinds of job types. So you've got jobs for everyone. Shops where you can buy products. I recommend a universal pricing system, which is on the Excel doc, which I've placed in the Excel document. An information house, which holds information for like the economy, rules, how businesses and how uh, you pay them, how that works. And extras like businesses, for example, you could, uh, the sh for example, the shopkeeper, sh uh, shopkeeper as a business owner, you pay, you pay him or her an allowance. You pay him or her an allowance, and then he slash she can spend that on stock employment, and or keep it for him slash herself. I am so sorry for that little shit. And there's also a tax, ta a tax, where like you're paying, where you've been paid, you're paying a bill for like free facilities, like so that everyone else can have those facilities for free. Like it ain't just for one person. Everyone should like pay this. 
and it should be like a redstone electricity if someone doesn't pay the bill or tax then red a person that is a resident engineer could just come along and cut that off until it's paid and once that's paid then the switch or lever can be placed back so that they can have their lighting back and i'm going to end the video here so i shall see you with probably another pokemon video or uh as like i'm i've run i'm gonna kick the shit out of him in a minute um i've run out of time so i can't exactly do the free for all i mean not free for all sorry the uh, giveaway information i'll do that in another video i shall see you then bye